My name is Daniel Reach. This is the Leatherverse, and today we have got something that I have been dying to do for a whopping 12 hours. I, I enjoy watching a channel called Nerd Forge, and it's an artist who's on there. She does all kinds of amazing things. I'll put a link to her channel in the description below. Uh, but yesterday she did a diorama of a post-apocalyptic city, so kind of a Walking Dead vibe. And I got to thinking, well, what can a leather artist do that would be kind of end of the world post-apocalyptic? And that's when it hit me. Today, I'm going to be making a post-apocalyptic respirator mask hood thingy. I'm not really sure what to call it, but it's going to be cool. And I want to bring you all along for the ride. I'm going to show you as I do it kind of what the thought process is. Um, hopefully I can pull this off. I've never done anything like this before. So it's kind of a figure it out as you go kind of thing. But um, I think it's time to jump in. We just finished the hood, at least the, the base structure for the hood. So there you can kind of see it. If I put it on, it still looks kind of silly. Um, there we go, something like that. Sorry, I'm trying to look in the monitor to make sure that you can see what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna put something here to give that a little bit more structure so it'll sit flat, I think. I like how wide it sits, um, so you can see on the back. Now, keep in mind, this is the base structure. This is really not going to be overly visible once we're done. The character's name is Shredlock, and the reason for that is I wanted it to have some tassels and that kind of thing hanging off of it, kind of looking like dreadlocks. Well, tassels are shredded leather. Well, shredlocks. And to do that, I'm going to be using this. So this is a type of crazy horse. Uh, you can see it's got the red and the, the dark brown in there. I think it's brown. It's hard to tell. It's either brown or black. But I'm going to be taking big long pieces of this and shredding it, making it look like dreadlocks. And then we're going to add in some post-apocalyptic accessories kind of thing. So now I guess all there is to do is just shred some beautiful leather. So time lapse. So the mask finally got here. Uh, this is what we're gonna be using for the base of the character. Uh, it comes with a couple of these filters that go on each side of it, one on each side, and it's obviously got strapping that goes across the back to, uh, to hold it onto your face. Um, the next step is that we're gonna be painting the areas right around the eyes, and we're gonna be painting these. We want them to have kind of a rusted effect. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with rust. I may go with copper, but for right now I'm thinking rust. But that's next, so let's go ahead and jump into that. Okay, so we got the map. 
cast painted, you can see here that we did this part around the eyes, that's what's gonna be exposed, and I've done both of the canister filters that go on each side of the mask. I don't want all this on the front showing. Uh, you know, I just bought it straight off Amazon and I'm gonna stick it into my costume. It needs more modification than that. So what I'm gonna do, started a little bit already just to make sure it was gonna work, but I'm gonna be attaching, make sure I've got it in there, I'm gonna attach the mask, I'm gonna attach the leather to the mask like that. And uh, it's gonna involve some contact cement, it's gonna involve some Chicago screws and a few other things, but that's the next step. All right, now that we've got that done, it's time to attach it to the hood. And I'm thinking I want to do something to the effect of this. So I want to run it right down the middle like a mohawk. I've got these smaller uh, tassels, shred locks, whatever you want to call them. I'll use those as filler. But I want to attach these right down the middle since this is kind of an industrial, you know, post-apocalyptic kind of thing. I'm not going to sew them on. I'm actually going to use rivets because I think that, that would make more sense if this was actually something that was made after the world ended. So uh, let's do that. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to crinkle these. You can see it there. It gives them a lot more texture. I'm going to go with something like that. So I'm thinking I can put one button snap on each side right here and one in the center on the back of the neck and that should hold it in place. And then I'll work some, some rolls and some folds into this permanently so it, it gets kind of a disheveled look. So I'm gonna use the sandpaper and a couple of these brushes. Uh, these are just suede brushes, but reality is you could use any soft bristle brush that you got. This one's got a little bit of wire in there, but it's still pretty soft. And I'm gonna use all this to bring back up some of the lighter colors, lighter tones in it. This is pretty rough sandpaper.
and I'm just going to keep going back and forth between the sandpaper and the, uh, the black wash. I don't know if it's picking it up on camera, but basically what the uh, the brushes are doing is that it's smoothing out those really harsh scuffs that the sandpaper puts in there. I want those, just not yet. Now I rolled the sandpaper up on its edge to get kind of a sharper edge and I'm creating specific scuffs and I'm not being real particular about where I'm putting them. I'd like to do is just put some smears on there. Let's get a little black and some yellow together. You'll notice when I do the, uh, the the scuffing, I'm going the direction that I think that it would naturally occur. I don't want to go sideways on it. I'll, the, the damage would come from this direction, so I want to do that. Now with these, I want them to look grimy. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on gloves and I'm gonna get paint on my hands. I'm just gonna kind of work it through there. As I'm doing that, I'm gonna scrunch them up and squeeze them. That'll give them a little bit more texture. I think the, the portions down here would probably be the dirtiest because they're going to be swinging up against stuff. So I'm going to make up a little bit more of this black wash and um, really work this in. Eventually, I'm going to take the uh, the hood off so I can work the mask. But for now, I want anything that settles to settle on the uh, cloak. Got it. That's the cloak and the hood.
that's it she's done don't go anywhere going to show you the final result if you're enjoying these kind of seven day projects let me know by hitting the thumbs up if you can think of any other uh, projects that maybe we should try to knock out in upcoming videos please let me know i love that kind of stuff in the meantime let's go ahead and check out the final results